In this video, I shall talk about menstruation. I will be talking about the surface area and volume of this figure. Now, first I will talk about the surface area of this figure. If you look at this figure, there are different surfaces and this surface is a quadrant. It makes a 90 degree angle quadrant. I have another quadrant at the back. I have a rectangle here. I have another rectangle here. And then I have curved surface area. Now in order to find the area of this curved surface part, I need to know this length and this is the arc length. And the arc length is found by using the formula arc length of the quadrant is half pi r. So I know this length and I know this width. So I multiply the two to get the area of this. In order to find the total surface area, I will peel off these surfaces and show you how they look like and what is their total surface area. The surfaces that I have peeled from this figure, I had a peeled off a quadrant from here and another quadrant from here which is here. I peeled off a rectangle which is here. I peeled off another rectangle which is here and then I peeled off this curved surface and here and it basically the rectangle. In order to find the area, area of a quadrant we have a formula. We know the radius and putting the value in the radius we get this area, area by multiply the area of this quadrant by 2 and you get the area of these two. You have this rectangle, you know this is, this is the radius and this is a height of the figure. So you know these two lengths, you can find the area. So these are two of them. And then you have the curved surface area. So in order to know this arc length of a quadrant, you have this formula. By that you can find the arc length which is here. And then you have the other height. So you multiply these two and you get, this is basically a rectangle. So you can find the area of the rectangle. If you add up area of the rectangle, area of the rectangle, area of the rectangle, area of the quadrant, area of the quadrant. So these five areas together constitute the total surface area of this 3D figure. Now I will talk about the volume of this figure. Since this figure is a prism, you know what prism is. Prism is a 3D figure and if you cut slices of this figure, then every slice will have the same cross-section area. If I keep this three-dimensional figure in this form, this is the face area and this is the length. And if I keep the figure this way, then this is the base area and this is the height. This 3D figure, if I cut slices along the length, then each slice shall have the same area of cross section. Now, I will talk about the volume of this figure. This is a face area, this is a length. Volume is face area multiplied by the length. Volume is equal to face area multiplied by length. And if I keep this figure this way, then volume will be base area into height. Volume is equal to base area into height. 